Hey everybody, it's Scatnex24 bringing you another part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Alright, in this part we are going to do a couple things. Oh uh, well, maybe not that many. We're going to get to the Tower of Spirits. But more importantly, we're going to get a bomb bag. And we're going to stop at Castletown for something. So now we need to pretty much get out of here. We also need to find Beetle. Uh, Beetle is, of course, you know, the salesman that was in, well, pretty much every Zelda, or well, every uh, one of the cell shaded Zeldas, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and, of course, this one. To grab his attention, what you have to do is you need to uh, blow your horn while he's kind of in range. And you can see him on the top screen. Um, I think... I don't think he actually starts appearing until after... Uh, um, the Snow Temple. So, basically, I'm just gonna cut away until I finally can get to him. Um, not much else to say about that, because otherwise it would kind of be me driving in circles. And then... There, he's in the distance, actually. And then, I don't know. I wonder if he can notice me from here. Probably not. Figures. Well, anyway, like I said, I'll cut away to that. Alright, finally, there's Beetle. I took a while to find him, and then, and then I crashed into a bomb train. And then had to go all over again. And then here's Beetle, finally. Ah, stupid enemy. Hey, anyway, here we are in Beetle's shop, I don't know, balloon. Beetle's air shop, there we go, that's what he calls it. What we want is this bomb bag, it's 500 rupees. And um, it has 10 bombs, and this is the only way you can get the bombs, actually. I think they're required to beat the game, although I'm not exactly sure about that. And he tells you about, um, Beatles Membership Club, whatever. Uh, you need 600 rupees, 500 to buy the bomb bag, and 100 to join the club. But it shouldn't be that hard. You, sh you should have them by this point. If not, then it's not exactly hard to grind money. Oh, you're kidding me. I have to do this backwards. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Anyway, we wanna get back to Castletown. One of the quicker ways to do this would be to um, go to the through the Tower of Spirits and then change direction and then go directly to Cat. Well, it actually depends on where you found Beetle, but Tower of Spirits would be faster anyway. Through the Tower of Spirits, yeah. Um, there's something we can do in Castletown. Actually, it's getting another heart container. So basically, I'll cut away to that, I guess. On the way to the Tower of Spirits, you'll find a place like this. In fact, I think you're required to stop here. I kind of forgot about that, actually. This is... Yeah, this is the Bridge Worker's home. The Bridge Worker will become very important uh, in a little bit. Not quite yet, but it's good to meet him. And there's Ferris. forget if he says anything. I hear the triangle shaped thing at the top of the arch does something, but only if you hit it real hard. Well, you will see what that does later on. Oh, oh good, there's actually a mailbox here. This guy appears from, I guess, in the trees. Kinda creepy, but... I've got a letter for you from Mr. Beetle. And here's our letter. This is our club membership thing. And now uh, we get reward, or we get points when we buy stuff. Every ten rupees gets you a point. We get rewards after a while. The real reward you want is after 500 points, where you get a heart container. So just meet the bridge worker. This guy, I think that's the guy who like fixes up your, um, what's it called? Your, I don't know, the thing you get treasure with in Phantom Hourglass. This is from the guard captain. Uh, there's two letters we need. This is the second one, of course. First one being from Beetle, which we just got. Uh, I'm not gonna bother reading it because I already know what it says. 
Well, actually, I don't know if you have to read it to activate it or not, but I don't think so. Uh, sometimes they do that, where you have to, like, read something. From Russell, blah, blah, blah. He wants you to visit him, and he has a uh, swordsman trading, or er, training, trading? Okay, then. Um, tra uh, swordsman training activity for you in uh, Castle Town, in the castle, where you first got your sword. It's actually similar to the one in Phantom Hourglass, where there's this dude in a ship. Instead, you have to fight three soldiers, and you only need 60 hits. So anyway, let's get going to Castle Town then. And the reward for that is, of course, a heart container. So, and as for the heart container you get from Beetle's Shop Ship, I'll get to, like, later on in the game, I think I've mentioned this before a few times, you're going to have thousands, literally thousands of rupees. I mean, you will not know what to do with the money, pretty much. Well, it just so happens that to get uh, 500 points, you're going to need to spend about 5,000 rupees. Unfortunately, the bomb bag, which would be 50 points, did not count, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, we're going to have thousands of rupees. It's going to be ridiculous. So I'll get to really easy ways you can um, pretty much grind for points, I guess. It's a bit repetitive, but... Here we are in the Tower of Spirits, but... Like I said, we need to get to Castle Town. Blah, blah, blah. Ocean Realm, yeah, we'll get to that. Train. Forest. Okay, there we go. And off to the castle we go. I think we can make it without having to run into the bomb train. I hope. Yeah, we can make it. Uh, not even gonna bother cutting away because the castle is so close. And bomb train incoming. Bomb trains, I forgot if they're a little bit faster than you. I think they are. What? 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 I, I stopped to get at the station. Oh, that's stupid. Which kind of also makes me wonder. Oh, Beetle's right there. Oh, you're kidding. Somebody's gonna die. When I don't need him, he's right there, right in range. In this case, let's just slowly get over to Castle Town. Because... Actually, no, I'm just going to cut away now. The the bomb train kind of spoiled my mood. What? Oh, now it goes after us like that. The artificial intelligence is literally out to... Well, I mean, it's supposed to kill me, but... It's just trying to make things annoying for me, isn't it? And here we are. Castletown. I hope we have time for this, but anyway, 